Now let's check the final output of our application. The first column contains a checkbox. Now I'm selecting Lalit and Ben. I have selected two selected checkboxes. Selected checkbox code to delete from a table using JavaScript. And I click delete selected rows. Here I got, are you sure you want to delete the selected rows? Okay, see, it's deleted. And I click one. Again, are you sure you want to delete the selected rows? Cancel, it's not deleted. Now, for example, if a user without selecting any checkbox and I click the uh, delete button, no rows selected. See? Let's write the code in JavaScript how to delete a selected checkbox row from a table. Just for the time saving, I have one table in this HTML page contains four columns. Select column contains the checkbox controls. At this moment, I have three employee records. The second column, employee ID, third one is the name and the fourth one is the email. This is a simple HTML element. Below HTML, uh, below table, I have a button control to delete the selected checkbox rows using the JavaScript. Now let's write the code. After the center tag, I am adding the script element to write the JavaScript. First constant, let's define one variable delete button is equals to delete button is equals to now here document dot get element by id when a user select click the button control i want to delete so this button control id i require require then delete button i'm adding the add event listener click click functionality so let's see the click functionality here I'm adding the arrow function. I'm creating one arrow function. Let's close this one. Constant. Let's add the checkboxes. Checkboxes is equals to uh, checkboxes is equals to document dot query selected all because I have a multiple checkboxes in this table. So we need to add the type of the checkbox. So here. So double colon input type is equals to type type is equals to checkbox checkbox uh, let's put this in the square brackets put this in the square brackets here when we add double quotes we need to insert the single quote if we add double quotes here in the type you don't get the result the functionality does not work so check check let's close this one now i need to length of the table how many rows are there so for that i'm adding the checkboxes dot length property is greater than zero is greater than zero now i want to delete the selected checkboxes only so for that i'm defining one more variable confirm delete confirm delete I want to display the message before delete the record. So here, let's add the double quotes. Are you sure you want to delete? Are you sure you want to delete? Delete. Delete the selected rows. Delete the selected rows. This is a message I want will display. Uh, when deleting the selected checkboxes, uh, if confirm delete, if this confirm delete, which is a button control, confirm delete is a button control. Um, checkboxes dot for each function. Here I'm adding checkbox. Checkbox. Defining one. Again, the functionality constant rows I require the row is equals to checkbox dot closest one closest of what PR table rows I want to delete row dot remove method remove method remove method in the else part in the else alert if you press the button control without selecting any checkboxes now i want to display no record no rows selected 
selector let's add the hooks lower selector that's it we have done the javascript functionality now i require that some styles will add to this table so first i'm adding the style element body first the body i want to display the background color is black and uh, color text color on the body is white then table i have a table now table element in this table element border collapse let's add the border um, border collapse collapse is collapse only i'm adding collapse width around according to your requirement you'll add the width text align i want to center away in the table the text is and also we have th and tds let's add those ones also th and tds border border one pixel solid color white according to your requirement you can adjust this uh, styles here i'm not adding much styles here padding eight pixels text align center and what else we have we have a let's add the button control mm, let's add the button control button button background color is um, olive drab olive drab i'm adding color text color of the button control is yellow and font size is large and what else the font weight also will add font weight is bold border radius is 5 pixels border i don't want any border for the button control that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the selected checkbox row from a table is deleted or not using a javascript first save this file before check the output to check the output we need to open the file explorer let's open that one the folder i have created in the e drive and the folder name is the javascript and this is our file name selector row delete we check here selector row delete now let's open the one selector row delete and here we got the final output of our application notice the first column contains a checkbox now i'm selecting the checkbox control to select the checkbox to delete from a table using javascript when i click delete selector rows oops here i got no row selector something wrong let's fix that one the javascript this is this is a function this is else function see here input type i have given the space solve everything let me continue we check the final output of our application again i'm reloading the browser now let's check the final output of our application the first column contains a checkbox now i'm selecting lalit and ben i have selected two selected checkboxes selector checkbox code to delete from a table using javascript and i click delete selected rows here i got are you sure you want to delete the selected rows okay see it's deleted and i click one again are you sure you want to delete the selected rows cancel it's not deleted now for example if a user without selecting any checkbox and i click the uh, delete button no rows selected see that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to delete a row from a table using the selected checkbox control with a javascript thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial